what we learned this week in uh, college, I guess, or pro. So mine is not going to be a shocker to you whatsoever. I think Jaden Daniels, he is him. He was absolutely phenomenal against Cincinnati in his Monday night football debut. You couldn't ask for more from him. He looked like a seasoned pro. That's hard to do, especially during your rookie season. I knew Cliff Kingsbury would be a perfect fit for JD5. We're seeing just that. The fact that he made more touchdowns or had more touchdowns than incompletions is absolutely mind-blowing. He made the right reads. He ran when he needed to, and he is sliding. Oh. Hand clap, JD5. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. He finally figured out how to do that. Now, on the other side, though, it was hard watching Daniels be absolutely elite while at the same time facing Joe Burrow, of course, two former LSU quarterbacks. It was just gut-wrenching. Joey B held his own and played a really good game, but his team behind him, not so much. It sucked that someone had to lose that ball game. Speaking of sucks, uh, we already learned, we, are, well, we already knew, life is not fair. And unfortunately, it struck with LSU playing a game that really 17-point win you know in Harold Perkins your star should be a top five pick you talk to anyone inside that building and he was mature beyond his years he came in played as a freshman was one of the true elite college football players and now you see his teammates they're gonna have to line up without him because of, of course that knee injury and so it's devastating to watch even as a media member I'm sure fans Really, really tough to watch inside of Death Valley. You're not going to be able to see number seven for the rest of the season. Does he go back? Uh, does he go pro? We don't know that just yet, but he's got a very bright future ahead of him. Now what we need to learn from both the player perspective and the coaching perspective is you were the ones, players, who said, I'm signing to go to LSU to play on that defense and make it to the league. Well, now you got some guys who are maybe fringe and, and maybe we're going to be draft picks. They've got to step up and they've got to say, no, I am him and I'm going to make it to the league and I'm going to show you what kind of a ball player that I can uh, be in place of number seven this year. And from the coaching perspective, did you build this program in the last three years to be able to withstand? Because at LSU, it ain't like everywhere else where they're one of the few where it truly is next man up. Have you built that program to be at this spot, be at this juncture, and answer the bell? 